Hello everyone, my name is Rashina, and I'm coming to you with a very important message. Um, I prayed about this and inquired with Father Yah, and he has told me to tell them there are some things that is coming upon this earth that we are not ready for. His church is not ready for. Um, so I'm going to be obedient to him. And I ask the Holy Spirit to help me with the words that I need to say. Now, I will say. This message is only for those that are true believers that worship him in spirit and in truth this is only for those that can hear what the spirit the holy spirit the ruach is saying hallelujah Okay. On July 3rd, I heard the words three days. And Abiyah took me to Numbers 14, verse 34. Your children will be shepherds here for 40 years, suffering for your unfaithfulness and to the last of your bodies lies in the wilderness. For 40 days, you explored the land. You will suffer for your sins and know what it is like to have me against you. So one day is one year. So I will also add Anything that I say, anything that anyone else says, test the spirit. We are to always test the spirit. We are to always go to our father and ask for verification. Ask him is this information from him. I asked him what's happening in three days. And I heard it's spiritual. It's a shift in the atmosphere. Troubling times ahead. I will protect you. Trust me. On July 17, 2024, this year, I heard wake my people up. And I heard these words. Tick tock. I will destroy the church. In first Peter four seventeen in the Sefer, it reads For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahuwah. And if it begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yah? I also heard, be strong. Do not fear. I am with you. Be strong. And then I heard, playtime is over. My sheep will hear my voice. On July 27th of this year, I was reading and I almost went to sleep when I heard a loud clock ticking noise. It was so loud and it was three loud ticking sounds. And on the third ticking sound, 
I flinched. I had my eyes like this and I went like that and I woke up. I heard I will destroy the church. His church is doing a lot of wickedness. A lot of wickedness. There's a lot of people that feel something is going on. Outside looks different. The darkness is darker. The sun is brighter. It's getting light three to four times a year. It's getting darker three to four times a year when it normally changes what, one, once or twice a year. So we are to pay attention to what is going on. And he told us to. On August 16th, I was in the bed. I was just waking up and I had three visions. The first vision I had was a man that had white all over his body. It didn't look like his skin, his skin color. It was like patches. It almost looked like a, a skin disease. Then after that, I saw black people with these raised spots or patches and, and they was white, but they was not round. They was in the shape of like little white rectangle shapes. And it almost looked like a skin disorder. It was all over their body. And then after that, the third vision I had. I saw people looking toward the, the sky dressed in white. They were flying toward the sky. Then I saw a white dress that this woman had on it was very beautiful and it was very detailed. I remember the detail because I drew a small picture of it. Um, around the stomach area, it was white and I had to look it up online, shearing when it's like bunched up or something. And um, around the stomach area and the dress was long and the sleeves was long. So the image that I seen, everybody was looking up like this and it was flying toward the sky. And this is um, the dress that, that I drew. That's how it, let me pull it back some. That's how it looked. It looked just like that. And it was so beautiful. It was beautiful. So I have been praying and there are some things that us as a church were supposed to be doing that we're not doing. I have literally been grieved because I have spoken to people that claim they are believers in this walk, that they believe in Yahusha. But when you try to speak to them about what the Holy Spirit is telling us to do, they know everything. They good. I'm covered by the blood and I don't need to do anything. You can't tell me anything about the word that I know. I know the word. I know everything. If he needs to show me, um, he'll tell me. He'll show me. This is what I hear. And it grieved me to the point where I cried. Because it, it hurts. We are supposed to listen to what the Ruach is saying. But we're not doing it. 
We're not listening. We're not going to him and say, Father, is this information true? Show me what I need to do. What should I be doing? There's a couple of chapters that we should be reading. Ezekiel 9. Read the whole chapter. But um, I'm going to be speaking about Ezekiel 9, 4 through 6. Ezekiel 9, 4 through 6. And I'm reading from the KJV book. And I also have the Sefer, which goes according to the KJV also. Okay. And Yahuwah said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Do not let your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. We need to pray and fast and ask Abiya to mark us, to put a seal on us and mark us, to mark our homes, our animals, our yards, and our family. So when the spirit of death comes through it will pass us by we should be praying this uh, the second chapter is Luke 21 34 through 36 Sorry. Luke 21, 34 through 36. It reads, and I'm reading from the Sefer. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life and so that day come upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth watch ye thereof therefore watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the son of Adam. We need to pray that we are counted worthy to escape what is to come. We are to pray that we are counted worthy to endure into the end. And we are to pray that we are counted worthy when we come before our Father, Yahuwah. We are to pray we're counted worthy. So, in my prayers, 
I have been feeling like we need to do <clears throat> like what uh, Joshua did. The next scripture is Joshua 6. And yesterday I spoke with Abiyah and asked him, is this what we're supposed to do? And he said, tell them. And to do this throughout the year, you can do it monthly. You can choose to do it when you feel the Holy Spirit move you. Because we are always supposed to let the Father guide us. In this walk. Read Joshua 6. This is when they walked around Jericho. And the Jericho. Uh, the city fell. The walls fell. For six days. We are to walk. Our neighborhood. Or the block of our streets. Or if you're unable to do that. Walk in your house. Or your yard. So on Monday. You walk one time. Tuesday one time. Wednesday one time. For six days. Joshua. Commanded them. On Joshua 6 verse 10. Do not give a war cry. Do not raise your voice. Do not say a word into the day I tell you to shout. Then shout. So when you walk, focus on our Father. Do not say a word. Because the enemy will send that person, your neighbor, somebody to try to talk to you, wave at you. We are to be focused on what we are to be doing. This is for the kingdom. This is all for the glory of our father. Now on the seventh day, we are to walk seven times around the neighborhood, the block of your street. If you're unable to walk in the house or the yard. Now, as we walk on the seventh day, we will give a shout but we will not be yelling. The word says, ask and ye shall receive. Anything you ask in Yahusha's name and you believe it, you will receive it. But this will be our shout. Now we are to do this as often as the Holy Spirit leads you. You can do it every month if you want. Just throughout the year. And that is our assignment. We need to be praying for one another. We need to pray. We need to fast. And we need to seek our Heavenly Father while He may be found. So I just wanted to be obedient. I wanted to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, to our Father. My Adonai, Yahusha, and give you 
your assignment. We need to spread the word. And we need to do what we are called to do. This is not a game. He has showed me some horrific things. I have seen others listen to others. And they have described the same thing that I have been seeing. And the sad reality is people believe that United States, we are safe. We are untouchable. All that stuff that's going on with believers that's happening over there. That's not going to happen here. The word says pride has deceived your heart. Because we are very touchable. You must don't know who our father is. Read your Bible. Yes, he is love. That is our father. He's not playing with us. So we need to get it right. We need to repent and get it right. And like I said, this is only, only for those who have ears to hear what the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is saying. And for his true believers, the true followers of Yahusha. So I thank you for giving me the platform because this is urgent. This was so urgent. I was doing something, lollygagging. And Abi, I had two birds hit my window. And one of them was a blue jay. And when that happened, I was like, okay. And he told me earlier, do not delay. But I was delaying. So he will get your attention one way or another. He definitely got mine. So that's why I'm making this video for you. I'm making this video for you. And so I thank you and I love you all. And I am praying. I am praying for y'all. I'm praying that we have strength. I am praying that we do not fear. Because the enemy didn't even want me to do this message. But I rebuke them in Yahusha's name. And the blood is against them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.